Hello everyone, this is Rand here again, another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Munich Winkle map. We are playing with a more realistic game engine, damage mod, and the forest mod. Uh, off screen here, I went ahead and set up a course play course for this. I figured that might be a good idea, then I don't have to uh, do any of the mowing here. So I just simply created a field outline. Uh, course play obviously does not recognize this as as an actual field, so you still have to do it the old style way. You know, drive an outline around the field, save it, and then uh, generate your course off that. But anyway, we got a mowing course set up, hopefully anyway. Find out if it works or not here. Uh, yeah, grass field chop. And then we'll just get the one tractor going on unloading him. If I get more one tractor, they unfortunately kind of tend to crash. Uh, because these wagons don't, or these wagons fill up so quickly. So I got both of them, you know, on the road at the same time, and they get in each other's way. <clears throat> Might unfortunate. Oh well, no, can't, not much you can uh, do about it. I am uh, trying these smaller wagons to see if this will allow them to get up over the uh, silage mound and the bunkers there. Okay, should be all set, I believe. Like he's not going to do what I want him to do. That's interesting. All right, of course, see if you get uh, if you can do it from here. This is something I never understand about course play. Sometimes it'll uh, pick it right up and, oh, hey, we'll go to the combine. Other times it's like, eh, I've got to go to the start of the point first, and we're going to start at the start, and you better not actually run that course. No, no, he's not. Okay. Never quite figured out uh, what's up with course play and that. So, you know, sometimes, like I said, it starts right away. It'll go to the, straight to the combine from wherever it is. Other times it's, you know, got to go to the start of the course over here. Other times it's actually got to run the entire course before it goes on loads the combine. All kinds of stupid crap like that. And how come you're not picking up that trailer? Pipe is out. <laughs> it's definitely within range. No question about that. Oh, I see. He's starting at the second. Oh, okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Should have set him to start at the first waypoint there. Uh, I set him to do four outlines around the field, I believe it was. So, hopefully that's enough to keep him out of any trouble. <laughs> Not likely, but... Uh, maybe he's doing the third one. Uh, yeah, no, I think he's doing the third outline. Okay, maybe I should have stopped him. Yeah, he's going to miss quite a bit there. Oh, well. It's not like it's worth a whole lot, so hardly even worth doing. We spent all that money on that equipment there, and it's like, yeah, Should have just kept it, I guess. I didn't realize they had uh, killed the price of silage that much at the biogas plant. I mean, yeah, that's basically the point. It's not even worth doing anymore. Uh, as for this log trailer here, I had some uh, fun with this off-screen. Oh, looks like I got one stuck up there yet. Oh, well. Uh, I drove the entire thing. It worked. I did not lose any. Drove the entire thing over to the log sawmill here. And unfortunately, the gate came down on the back of this thing. Uh, we had that a couple episodes back. I think uh, if you guys remember that. I called it my uh, Euro Truck Simulator moment. Uh, the gate came back down on these and, you know, got stuck. Well, that unfortunately happened again. And this time it sent the trailer flying into space. Uh, I did post like a little uh, short uh, 30 seconds, something like that. Uh, maybe it was a minute. I don't remember how long it was of uh, what happened there. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, unfortunately, because of that, you know, I had to reset everything. I lost a bunch of logs, so I'm 
carrying, uh, what is there, maybe eight of them back in here. So we'll go take those and sell them a minute. Shouldn't take too long. Only a couple in here, so. Actually, a couple. It's more than a few. More than a couple. It's got a few of them in it. Uh, I did advance time, too. It doesn't look like there's anything else that's ripe, I don't believe. Nope, nothing else is ripe. Unfortunately. It's too bad the potatoes are ripe. I've seen a great demand for potatoes here. I think it's still on yet. Yes, potatoes. Oop. Trying to watch this and watch where I'm driving at the same time. Never a good thing. Oh, bummer. Only six hours remaining. Uh, potatoes will never be ripe in time, then. Oh, well. Uh, we do have a full trailer of wood chips over at the sawmill as well. So we'll have to bring that over to... Uh, oh, I forget the name of the place again. I know it's... Uh, I think it's up in this region here somewhere. Where you bring the wood chips. Like a bioheat plant or something like that. Yes, I seen the car there. Nobody else coming, is there? Nope. So anyways, I was really bummed about the uh, trailer log explosion. Now, it, uh, if you watch that uh, video I posted, you can kind of see the lock script. It is locking them in there. They're trying to fly out, but they can't quite. Eh, it was pretty hilarious, I thought. Oh crap, I'm not going to be able to get in here again, am I? Okay. Where's me agro vector? Should be up in here somewhere. Hopefully maybe they'll uh, fix that with the next version of Farming Sim. You can like zoom into that map or something, so you can actually pick out a vehicles better. Not too bad with a, uh, you know, a, a normal sized map, but you get these larger maps, it it just doesn't work. And fortunately, my uh, my trailer has bales on it yet. I guess I could go pull them off, but got bales on it yet, so I'm just uh, driving this thing down here manually. Yeah, it's not too bad of a drive. I'll have to say, I do uh, enjoy driving around this map, actually. It is a very nicely well done map, I'll have to say. Yeah, in that uh, regards, I actually don't mind driving around. It's kind of a lot of fun, you know, looking around. Looks like I should repair this thing. Uh, 23%, 27%. Yeah, logging and damage mod. Definitely not a good idea. So yeah, anyway, to get the gate to stay open, I just drive this thing down here, stick the... Uh, front piece of it in the gate there and it'll uh, stay open so I can drive the log trailer through. I'm still debating whether it's actually easier to you know, cut the ends off or just leave them on. If you leave them on, the trouble is putting them in the uh, sawmill there. Definitely causes some trouble there. On the other hand, it's a lot easier too because I don't have to actually you know deal with the short ends. Like I was saying though, it might just be easier just to you know, go ahead and chop them up and destroy them. Not even bother worrying about them. Oh uh, yeah, for some reason this aggro vector does not like this hill here. I'm not sure what's up with it, but... Come well, on, it's not that much of a hill here. Oh, maybe it is, I guess. Right here it is, anyway. I'm thinking the reason being is that might be considered dirt there instead of grass. That might be why it's slowing down so much. That's just my thoughts anyway. 
Not sure if that's actually the case or not. Um, I don't think that's where I left it. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm thinking what happened here, a car came through and just uh, decided to, you know, go through it and uh, shoved it up there, maybe? That's the only thing that comes to my mind. <clears throat> anyway, just park this angle vector in here, kind of, you know, stick it uh, yeah, right about in there. The gate will detect that won't close, and I might be stuck here. I'm thinking I'm stuck here. Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, can you pull it off? That yeah, was pulling it off. Oh, we got it yet. Or did we? Oh, yeah, we did. Just the uh, backlogs are stuck there. Uh, the fent is slipping. Uh, let me guess. Uh, no. Where's the fent? Air fent, fent, fent. Doesn't show him at the biogas plant. I was assuming that's where he would be at. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. What are you doing smashing into my trailer? Come on, now. I think you wrecked it pretty good, too. Uh, oh wait, he's coming back, isn't? It? Oh, that mean that means he made it through the biogas plant. At least he is so far, anyway. Of course, it's probably not very full yet, if I had to guess. Um, I think I only put two loads in there, actually. Maybe three. Only two or three loads. Uh, whoa, wait, what? Uh, says it's locked. Hmm. Yeah, says it's locked. Oh, well, at least it, it gives the option to say to release load, so that usually means it's locked. That's interesting. Well, hey, now on the po <laughs> positive end, my uh, bail trailer's empty. Okay, now if I remember correctly, I want to come in from this way. I want to put the big fat ends on the conveyor there. Okay, I'll grab the aggro vector. I really should buy another one of these things. I'm like constantly using this thing for like everything. Okay, and then you grab them a uh, second set from the end here. That's what I found to be the best place to grab them. And let me say, too, unloading that uh, full trailer there was a lot of fun. I wasn't quite full, because obviously, you know, these, uh, I had to take these out or pull them out or they fell out. Uh, I might have to, eh, yeah, I'm going to have to back that truck up a little more. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have to. Well, now nah, we will anyway. No, I don't want, yeah, <laughs> I want the truck. There we go. Ah, my truck is damaged too yet, isn't it? Oh, bummer. It wasn't perfectly good shape. 
Or at least it was close to it anyway. There we go. And I'll slowly pull them in. Might take a minute or two here. In you go. In you go. One thing is for sure, they definitely do need to work on the uh, issue with them, like, getting caught there at the uh, ends. I'm not sure what they can do about it. Probably nothing, actually, just the way a farming sim works, but... That would be nice if they could have uh, fixed that somehow. I mean, obviously, you know, real life, if you don't actually cut this, it's not going to get stuck there. That is not going to make a bit of difference. Can we get the remaining ones? No, one left. Go figure. Um. Now I found too, this isn't actually because this thing can't lift it. It can lift it. It's actually sticking on something somewhere and that's what's causing me to pop a back wheelie. It's probably sticking on the front there. There we go. Now is that one actually attached in there? Is it going to fall off? Okay, watch it here. We might uh, try to clear the building. Uh, needless to say, I think we can definitely say the uh, moralistic game engine does not affect the uh, logging bit. Come on. So, oh crap, come on now, don't fall off. Excellent. Oh, there goes one. I like how the fact it kind of sits there from on. I'll say, wham, in it goes. Gone. So, yeah, I can see that one there is getting stuck at the, uh, be the saw point. Once they're in, I'll pick that other one up and we'll get that one in. A lot of times I like to just let them sit there. Uh, you know, if I give them a helping hand, I. A lot of times find that actually uh, makes it worse. Like this one here. This one's uh, all messed up. Oh, look out. Yeah, it fell off, but the conveyor kind of sort of still had it yet. So, yeah, nothing but problems with that. Okay, let's grab the last one here. Make sure I grab it in the right spot. Grab it here, this is about the uh, perfect balance point. And also for the way I have it parked, gives you just enough room to clear the building there. Uh, that one's going in nice and uh, perfectly. 
what I like to see. Excellent. Okay. I think what we'll do... I'm going to detach this trailer here and leave it here. I'm pretty sure that trailer there I have is a non-MR trailer. Oh, yeah. You know what? In fact, I know it is because I tried the MR trailer of this and it would not accept wood chips. This is the only trailer I've found that will accept the wood chips. This thing will... Yes, it will. Excellent. I'm not sure if there's more trailers that'll accept wood chips or not, but this is, uh, for my testing, the only one that I found that uh, would accept them, so... That's well, gonna be a tight turn here to make that. Um... There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, so we shouldn't see any funny stuff going on here since this is all non MR. This is not an MR truck or an MR trailer. See if I can remember where this uh, place is to dump this stuff. Now, from what I've heard from uh, various people, this is basically not worth anything. So, you now it's hardly worth doing. Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway, just you know, because we can, for the fun of it. Okay, I believe it's up here somewhere's. Is it up that? I think it might be up this road here. Let me check the map. It's either this or I gotta go one more yet. Oh, oh, yeah, I do have to go one more yet. I see the uh, icon there. It's that little uh, smokestack, I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Yeah, you can see all the neighbors have these fancy brick walls that we now have. Got to keep up with the neighbors, after all. Okay, roundabout. Okay, I'll go the right way around the roundabout. Fine. Without hitting the curb, possibly. Okay, it's on this road. Yeah, yes, there it is. And the dump spot for this thing, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, is this going to dump in here? Find out, I guess. I think they say you're supposed to use like a front-end loader. Oh, good, it will. If it uh, takes all of it, I'll bring this trailer back. Oh, no, it's not going to, is it? Yeah, that's, uh, it seems like, to me, the problem for this thing. It only takes, uh, was it half of this trailer? It doesn't take much, so... You have to get a lot more wood chips than what you can use. I'm not sure what you do with all the wood chips. I mean, obviously, I guess if you don't cut trees down for a couple days, maybe it'd uh, be okay, but... That sign say there? Oh, okay. Spinnery. Speaking of the spinnery, I believe that's where we gotta bring wool. And for wool, I think we got three full pallets now. Might be about time to transport at least a couple of them over that way and uh, see what we get for them. Hopefully it's uh, worth it. Now one thing's for sure, the wood is definitely good money. I'm still not sure it's you know worth all the work though. Not that it's so bad, it's that, uh, that agro vector attachment, or actually it's a Weidman fork attachment thingy. I use it on the agro vector. Just because I find that uh, much easier.
Okay, let's check and see how our chopper's doing. Ooh, it's the first time around yet? You gotta be kidding. What's going on over here? Yeah, he does have a ways to go to the biogas plant, I guess. And he doesn't hold much. I think it's a 24,000 in the tipper. If I remember correctly, that's what it is anyway. Or somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, 22,680. I don't know why, but it's like they insist on driving the w into the water over here. Even when I'm uh, running the combine there, they sit there, they turn into the water, and then they go on their merry way. No idea why, but that's what they like to do. Wow. What is damage? Oh, that's got to be the weight, 65%. Oh, I know why he was uh, ramming into the tractor there. That's probably why. Okay. Now we'll drive the agro vector back then. Maybe I'll just reset that log tray. That's probably what I'll do. I've seen from uh, multiple people now that say uh, resetting your log trailers after every uh, load up is a good idea. I'm not, I've never actually had a problem with that. I don't think actually uh, own logs multiple times. But uh, yeah, from what I've heard multiple people saying... Yeah, if you reset it every time, it uh, you'll reduce any problems you might have. Yeah, in my case, I don't think that was the issue, or the fact I slightly overloaded it. And then when I finally did get it down here, yeah, that dumb gate came down on it there. Came down on the logs that were sticking out, and away she went. So yeah, at this point, I believe we're just waiting for crops to get ripe again. Um, not much else to do, really. Got some spending money again. I'm not sure if we need any equipment at this point or not. I think we should probably get a big tractor of some type. I think I'm Possibly one of the uh, Case Steigers or Quad Tracks, one of those two tractors. Or we could get uh, one of the John Deere tracked ones as well. I've got the 9560 and I think it's an 8360? Or an 8630? 80, I, I forget what the other one is. Someone uh, recommended it to me to check out. Both uh, kind of cool looking tractors. Uh, the 9560, I've had that one for a while. I believe it. Both of them came together, I'd like to say, or I got them both at the same time. I got a 9560 with triples and a 9560 with tracks, so... Oh, wow, there's a lot of weeds in the corner of that field. Sprayed that field, anyway. Kind of like a real field, though. Look at the corner of the field sometimes, you know, see where the sprayer missed, and yep, sure enough, there's the weeds. Uh, that's especially true of fields that aren't quite square or f oddly shaped, that type of thing. Then you'll uh, commonly see that. Okay, let's put this thing up in the repair shop, and then it'll probably be time to call it an episode again. And yeah, off screen I'll probably just uh, advance time and uh, hopefully we'll have some crops ready to harvest. I should probably check uh, the status of all the weeds in the fields again as well. Should there ain't no more weeds. It's like every time I look there's more weeds. Which reminds me, I do have a field I can plant too, don't I? I guess we maybe could do that. Ah, uh, things in perfect shape. Excellent. 
Well, folks, with that, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till next time.